and fourth graduation celebration on Saturday 29th October 2022 with a team Tibet Education, the means of economic education empowerment. Speaking at the event was the Catholic Bishop of Koforidia Diocese, Bishop Kweku Eprifa Ejekum, said that the Tibet introduction to the educational system by the government has really helped in giving massive good by letting the community to understand the importance and relevance of Tibet education. Furthermore, he said that the 40th anniversary celebration of the establishment has brought transformation to the community of Asama Kasi. Also speaking at the event was the principal of the school Mrs. Felicia Papunui in her interview said that practicals has been the strength behind the St. Mary Technical Institute, which helped the school to gain recognition across Ghana. She advised the graduates of 2022 to be job creators and not job seekers, by not depending on government nor parent but rather to work hard to see the future they aspired. <laughs> God on this great institution. Indeed, we can only be thankful to him for his providence in the last four days. We, the citizens of West Akim, are particularly grateful to the pioneers of this great institution for their vision and foresight, as well as the various leaders who have contributed their quota to make the school what it is today. The people of Samankese and Ghana at large we will eternally be grateful to your bequeathing for bequeathing to us with this great school. On behalf of the good people of West Akim and on my own behalf, I want to congratulate the entire St. Mary's fraternity, the Board of Governors, Management, students, both past and present, who have played a pivotal role 
in the life of this school. I wish to extend my greatest felicitation to the planning committee for extending an invitation to me to be part of this great memorable event. I'm particularly excited about the team for this occasion. Then I quote, TVET, Educa TVET Education, the means of economic empowerment. The team succinctly brings to the fore the very conversation we all need to have, especially at this time that our country is grappling with the ever-increasing youth unemployment. Bishop Chair, Technical and Vocational Education Training, TVET, has proven to be an educational pathway that can be used to significantly reduce the unemployment rate in Ghana. TVET is not only a catalyst for preparing the youth for the working world, but a tool for attaining the sustainable development goals, that is SDGs, especially in terms of greater employability. Data from the Ghana Revenue Authority suggests that only 2 million Ghanaians out of the over 30 million people pay tax. This is largely attributable to the higher number of unemployed graduates idling day in and out. If priority is given to TVET, you may realize personal employment initiative which will put citizens in a better position to support government through the payment of taxes for development projects. Our country has in the past experimented with the idea of equipping our young ones with skills through technical and vocational training. The introduction of the junior secondary school system was to enable many of young ones make use of their skills, thereby setting up their own businesses after school. Unfortunately, Bishop Chair, the concept as we have it now cannot deliver the expected outcomes as the current educational system has only been designed to make our young ones job seekers and not entrepreneurs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is refreshing to note that under the leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado, there is a renewed commitment and resurgence to make technical and vocational education the choice of preference for many of our young people through various reforms. The government since 2017 has undertaken skills gap analysis and audit, establishment of sector skill bodies and upgrading of existing TV institutions amidst the provision of adequate infrastructure in many of our technical and vocational schools across the country. Our very own St. Mary Technical Institute is a living proof of the reforms happening within TVET sector. We are all witnesses to the massive infrastructure development of our new site. These include, one, the 150 bed capacity gas dormitory. Two, more day administration block. Three, three unit classroom block with well-equipped ICT laboratory. Three, three practical workshops for catering, dressmaking, and cosmetology department. And especially now, with the introduction of TVET by the government, the numbers are being overwhelming, especially with the SHS, where many other students have opted and have understood the importance and relevance of TVET education. So today, what has brought us here is the 40th anniversary of the establishment of this institute. In fact, it is actually 42 years. It was started in 1980, but because of the COVID, we could not celebrate the 40th anniversary. So that is why we postponed it until now. So what we have gone through today, the ceremony, is to celebrate 40 years of the existence. Now, St. Mary's Technical Institute, Asamankesi. Some of the efforts that make the school successful. We practicals is our focus. Every week we do practicals as it is. And the parents are helpful. The parents do time sometimes contribute towards their practical aspects. So because of that, anytime we went for any program, we stand up because we are always doing the best and the right thing. This one actually it was the Ghana government who brought it through MVTI. 
But if it's my own development at the old site, I've been able to solve six funds to build three classroom block and then a salon and then a, a toilet, six uh, sister toilet. And I was able to acquire uh, uh, equipment for all the departments since I've been in office. It means where we have come now is a very big land. So it means we have to write more proposals to see who people come at our aid because as I'm speaking, we don't have hostel for the boys, we don't have dormitories for the uh, houses for the house mistress, we don't have chairs, we don't have tables, we are short of all that things that can make this, uh, the training. Okay, although we have the equipment all right, but the classroom, the classrooms are empty. There are no chairs in it, so it means now we have to work, ask for sponsors from other places that can help us to get furniture and then to make the school for it. That is our next uh, plan. Maybe in five years' time, we'll go for it. we we'll come and see that we have added another thing to whatever is existing here. My last message to people that are graduating today is my wish that anybody who have passed through here should not go and be looking for a job. They should be able to establish themselves, which some of them have already started. And now they should not depend on their parents. Now the parents have wasted a lot and they have come to acquire a skill. And that skill that you're supposed to use and then get money and then help their parents in the house. Very much. Well, uh, we... we first of all want to thank the government for putting up this great edifice. By St. Mary's of old, uh, 40 years ago, to me it wasn't anything to write home about. But now the government has proved that, yes, it's actually interested in uh, Tibet. And now that we have gotten this, and with this anniversary coincidence, coinciding with uh, the edifices, I will advise management and the general school body to be very, very grateful to the government in the first place and then work hard to prove that, yes, they are actually a Tibet uh, students and Tibet management. I will thank the board very much for the wonderful work they've done. Uh, not leaving the assembly education where I'm the PRO. Actually, I'm a member of the board representing GES. And uh, we think what we have seen today is very, very good. However, we will plead that we get boys' dormitory to support the whole system. Now the boys are in town, and for them to be shuttling here and there wouldn't be the best. So we only say Oliver always asks for more. Yeah. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates. When it is also put into good use, the affirmation we pray will help them to be ushered well into the world in which we find ourselves. It is not just enough to get 